Okay, so in this video, I want to take a look at the new Raspberry Pi 400 that was just released a little bit ago. And if you're wondering what's different than the normal Raspberry Pi 4, this video is for you. So, this is the Raspberry Pi Org website, and it has information about this. Not many people have this because it was just released. So it's a Raspberry Pi 400, and it says your complete personal computer into a compact keyboard. So what this is, is the whole Raspberry Pi, all of your USB ports, and everything is inside of this keyboard. And it comes with a mouse, too. So it's looking pretty cool. Here's a better thing. So the Raspberry, this is the Raspberry Pi right here. And then you have your GPIO pins. You have your SD card slot. You have your two HDMIs, a USB 2.0. Or no, that's USB-C, USB 3.0, and USB 2.0, and we have our Ethernet. So it's looking pretty cool. And right here it says it's a Raspberry Pi, it's a keyboard. And it's a purpose-built board based on Raspberry Pi 4. So it's based on the Raspberry Pi 4. It has the same powerful processor, but it, it also has some special cooling in here and th thermals to keep it cooler. And... A lot of people, this was something that a lot of people would be happy about, is you don't lose your GPIO pins. You still have access to them. Because a lot of people wouldn't buy this, actually, if they couldn't access their GPIO pins. So, this is what it looks like. It looks really cool. And we, instead of the Windows key, we have a Raspberry Pi key, which is a smart thing. So, this, t this tells you what it comes with. It comes with a mouse a power supply, micro HDMI to HDMI cable, a SD card preloaded with Raspberry Pi OS. So if, you knew, if you're new to this, you're good. It comes with an SD card already installed with Raspberry Pi OS, and it comes with the official Raspberry Pi beginner's guide. So this is actually really good if you're new to Raspberry Pi, because you, this guide probably has a lot of stuff in it. And there's different keyboard languages too. And here's just a video about Raspberry Pi OS and how, what it is and how it performs. And it's for everybody, basically. Yeah, and so here's a more detailed picture. So we, you can see this is the back of the keyboard. Here's our GPIO pins, our micro SD card slot, the two HDMIs, USB-C, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and Gigabyte Ethernet. So, one thing I noticed different from the normal Raspberry Pi is you have one less USB port. So, that could be a problem for some people, but a, a way to fix that is to use a USB hub. You could just get a USB hub, plug it in there, and you would have a lot more USB ports. So, that's kind of an easy one to solve. And here's some more um, sp specific information. So, we have a Broadcom BCM2711 quad-core Cortex-A7 II 64-bit processor. And this is something I'm really excited about. It's 1.8 gigahertz. And as you might know, the other Raspberry Pi models are, are, are all 1.5 gigahertz. So this is a huge plus, and I'm excited to see how that would have performed, actually. And then we have our 4 gigabyte RAM. We have our wireless things, our Bluetooth, Ethernet, USB ports. GPIO pins, HDMI, we have OpenGL 3.0 graphics, micro SD card slot, and our keyboard. And yeah, these are all our temperatures. And yeah, it's looking really good. So this is all of the thing and all of the specifications. And if you wanted to buy this, they have a thing over on their website. So you just go over to buy a Raspberry Pi 400. So it's kind of cool that it's called 400. It's interesting. So if you're like me, you would want a U.S. keyboard probably, and then you would need to pick your country, and you're just, I'll just pick United States for now. And then these are all Raspberry Pi approved resellers, but definitely later on, probably not now, but later on there will be other stores that are selling this. But because this was just recently released, there's probably these are the one, only ones that probably have it. So if I was to go to Pi Shop U.S. So, the price for this is $100, and as you might know, the other Raspberry Pi 4 gigabyte, I think, is around like 50 to $60, if I'm, if I'm correct. So, it is more expensive, but you're getting a lot of other stuff. We, we're getting this keyboard here, this USB cable and beginner guide and stuff. 
Oh, so it looks like it comes with a 32, 32 gigabyte SD card. So it's a nice size. And you can see all of the specifications here. It's looking really good. So I personally am not sure if I'm going to get one of these yet. Because I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Because I already have like two Raspberry Pi 4s and one Raspberry Pi 3. I mean, I can always overclock it to get to this speed, of course. So I'm not sure if I need it, but I'm still thinking about it. But what you guys could do is you guys could just let me know down below in the comments if you think buying this is worth it and if you're going to buy one. So just tell me down below in the comments if you think this is a good product and if you're interested in it. Yeah, so this video was kind of short, but I was just going to let you guys know about this new Raspberry Pi 400 and my thoughts about it. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and if it was, please hit that like button, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe.